Hey guys and welcome, it's a snow break containment zone and we'll do a one year dive backwards on how the year went. Officially we're one year, uh, July 20, 2023 was I think the launch date if I'm not mistaken. So um, just to give you guys a, um, a rundown through memory lane, um, I'm actually a day one player, I played the game first hand. It was a really interesting game, a third-person shooter. I expected a lot from the game. Um, you know, a shooter paired with waifus is a really interesting game, and a clearly a unique game from the get-go. Um, it didn't have its own market yet. It didn't have its own niche, but as the game progressed, it wasn't doing well. Um, up until Katya came along. So basically the change was in character design at first. The story was a bit <laughs> spicier, if you know what I mean. And there you go. Um, Snowbreak was kind of reborn after Katya came along. So Katya was the turnaround basically of the game. It, I think Tess started the turnaround a bit because the design of Tess... The character design of Tess was a bit towards, you know, what it is now. But Katya really was the, you know, the pivotal moment where Snowbreak was going to be good. So, what is the future of Snowbreak? It's going to be all of these ladies here. So, these ladies are going to give you fun, give you a good storyline with the adjutant, and they're going to capture your heart so technically this game has this has its audience already it has its niche it has its direction and what do they need to continue in order to make this game more successful okay so again um most of the players like snow break containment zone because of its service attitude really eagerness to listen to its player base that is one of the reason why some of the games um some of the players from different games you know transferred over to snowbreak because issues um kept going on with the developers of other games while the developers of snowbreak have been listening to you know to the whole player base they've taken tips they've taken hints on what to do They've taken design, you know, radical design changes, radical, you know, directions in terms of how to develop the game. And it worked. Um, I can't say more. Um, fan service will also, you know, <coughs> be welcome in the future. This should continue because it has been a trend. I see no reason that it will change. I see no reason that the designs would be conservative moving forward. I see no reason in toning down what they're doing now because right now they are really on track on what really majority of the or of the fan base, the player base is looking for. Um, also, guys, just want to make you know this clear. This game so far has the best first anniversary rewards. And I've seen a uh, crazy since uh, I think since July 11, there has been a crazy amount of awards, rewards, um, crazy amount of um, currency, crazy amount of uh, free pulls. It's crazy. And um, it I think culminated a, co a couple of days ago. We got our five star collector for the weapons, which, uh, which more or less the players were really, really, really happy. I got mine for Mauser. I didn't have her weapon. And I was really happy to get this weapon, Olive Truth, because I really missed on this. I'm actually building her better moving forward. And um, again, it's really a very, very nice gift to have. To at least have that single piece of weapon that you need, or probably a tier two, you know, tier two opportunity for your favorite weapon. So again, crazy first year. It should continue, guys. Towards 1.5, I don't see any, you know, I don't see, I, I don't see any drop off with that. So 
again and also um to continue i think the success the success of the game is actually going to rely heavily or on on co-op content we do have a couple of co-op content but again it's going to be it should be more it should be it should it should have more co-op content in the future additional co-op content so again those are the things that they should continue improvements probably for the game more um unique game modes right now for the game modes we do have a couple we have this we have star master as one of the you know the the unique ones that they put out they merged it with a couple of mini games like the fishing game um it's actually quite nice uh, it's quite unique um but we'll need more more or less because tactic evaluation this is only up to phase 12. Once you finish this, there's you, know, you, you won't be able to play this unless they add more levels to this. But again, and this one is uh, Imperial Tactics. This is basically, you know, I think, for the event. So more or less um, unique content for the game. Unique game modes. Modes that require probably specific characters to be used. Um, let's say, for example, I'll, I'll give you an example on that. Um, some of the teams probably would require one five star and two four star because again four stars in this game are not used anymore so why you know put out four stars uh, um, at some point as you progress from beginner up to mid or upper tier player you won't be using four stars much I tell you you won't be for using four stars much so create game modes that can use four star that are that are forced that the player base is forced to use four star because there are a lot of good four stars that I think should be used. Uh, one of them is going to be Akasha, Redacted, um, who else? Um, Risha, Little Sunshine is also good. So again, game modes using uh, as a requirement should be a four star would be good. Um, probably in a permanent open world mission you know um it could, it could be a different mode could be those two things are uh, can be can be merged like the using four stars with open world missions um but again you can actually have them separately hopefully four stars will be added as well we haven't had any four stars since the last one is, i think was goldfish if I'm not mistaken, she's the last one that we had for four stars. So I hope they keep on developing four stars if they create those modes that we will be forced to use four stars. Um, team bonuses could be could be you know could be added as well. Um, I'm not sure how. Probably if you use the same element for your team, elemental bonus. Um, probably just because of their friendship within the dorm, they have bonuses when they use them in the team. So those are the things that I think they can tinker on. Um, also, I remember playing Archland that there is a character, but it's two characters. It's a twin. <laughs> You're going to like this because that character or those two characters count as one character, but they, they're twins. So let, let's say, for example, two series, but they're, they're you know, they're 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 one character here so again those are the mechanics i think that i would want to see that was interesting of twins being used as one character um they could have very very good synergies actually um when they play out their skills when they have their weapons i'm no i don't know what their weapon is probably one could have one weapon one could have wep one weapon as well so again the sky is the limit for the devs for this game. Also, um, going to weapon, probably more gun types. Recently, we had a double SMG, which was a nice touch because, again, this is a new, not a new weapon, but a new category as well. Probably double handguns in the future. Probably a grenade launcher in the future would be nice. Um, I'd like to see that. Um, also... A melee character. We actually were treated to to Haru 
teased as a melee character because of this blade. But she's not really a melee character. She just uses it for her, you know, for her skill. But again, I would welcome a melee character. Um, a shooter and probably a mix of melee would be good. Would be a good diversity to the game. What do you think, guys? What do you think would be a... Would you welcome melee characters in this game? Um, Nita... Nita actually uses a... Let's take Nita for example. N Nita uses an exoskeleton here, as you can see there. So probably could have her 5-star as a melee type weapon, a bruiser of some sort. So again, again, there are a lot of things that they can do with this game that is going to be fun. They just have to, you know... Let their imagination run wild and put it into or implement it into something. So, more gun types, a melee character probably or a melee weapon. As you can see there, that's that's a melee weapon there. So, I hope she uses that in the future. Um, what else? More character, uh, character upgrades would be nice as well. Right now, we are locked at level 80. But our account is at level 100, so probably level 100 for the girls are actually in the books already. Um, more character upgrades. Right now, we don't have much in terms of upgrading our characters. Actually, Haru is uh, one of my, you know, one of my girls. So <laughs> we don't have much to upgrade. So if you take the examples from other games, they have been able to add other upgrades. Um, particularly for me, stat upgrades that we need. Like, for example, if you want to add more crit damage, crit rate, those things. Uh, buffs for attack, HP. It's usually located in logistics. They could actually add more. Manifestation, when you complete some, you also have uh, bonuses there. Weapon, again, they can, they, you know, they can add more to the list of character upgrades if they wanted to um again that would require you know more challenging content in the future but you know it's it should be in the books um one other thing that i um also thought of was collabs there are a lot of shooters out there or you know anime that you know have shooters we can do a collab with those guys they can do a collab with those guys and I am sure that the fan base or the player base will go ballistic and will really, really grow if they include collabs in, you know, in their roster or in their plan. So, again, those are top of mind that I think should be done moving forward. Improvements from, you know, one year and, you know, beyond. Um, what do you think, guys? What do you think? Yeah is the you know the best improvement moving forward of all the things that i discussed which do you think am um, i right on and um for those that you think that should be added to my list please comment them down in the comment section um snow break is definitely going to stay whether you like it or not these girls are too endearing for me so more or less they will here to stay and um, I like how life looks at me. So anyway, guys, again, this is the future of Snow Break. They're going to be here long term. And what do you think? Again, comment in the comment section. Thank you, guys. Thank you for supporting the channel through thick and thin. Um, definitely Snow Break is, is you know, it, it's still going to be my main game for this channel. I'm going to be growing this channel to other games in the future. Um, and I, I'll talk about it in a different video, but not here. But again, the growth of this channel will mainly be Snow Break. The rest will also help this channel grow. So again, guys, I thank you really for your support every day and for, you know, for always understanding all the things that I do for the channel. So thank you guys for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.